Welcome to Workday Learning Create Learning Rules. In this session, we'll define and explore how to create different learning rules to curate your learning content. These learning rules, which include prerequisite, equivalency, certification, and expiration rules, offer diverse ways to structure learning content access and completion, giving you flexibility to customize your learning environment. First, let's dive into prerequisite rules. These rules make it required to enroll in or complete one or more learning components before a learner gains access to the desired learning content. This functionality restricts access to learning content that is contingent on related content. You can apply prerequisite rules to digital courses, blended courses, and programs, and even define multiple prerequisites for a single piece of learning content. Let's observe Deborah Simpson, an HR manager at Global Modern Services, who is supporting a new sales onboarding initiative. Deborah needs to establish a prerequisite rule on sales-specific learning content. To begin, Deborah navigates to the Create Prerequisite Rule report. She needs to identify the target content which is the learning content the prerequisite rule will apply to. In this example, Deborah chooses the Sales Protocol Blended course. Next, in the Qualifier field, Deborah selects the Has Completed option. The Qualifier field sets the restriction type for the target content. Finally, in the Rules grid, Deborah selects the Add icon to designate the Sales Knowledge Digital course as the prerequisite content and selects OK. This rule mandates that learners must complete the Sales Knowledge course before they can access the Sales Protocol course. This requirement displays to learners as the View Prerequisites button on the Sales Protocol course page. When establishing multiple prerequisites, how you structure the rules grid is important. If you require at least one prerequisite from a group, enter each course on its own row. But if you require all defined prerequisites, Workday recommends entering all learning content in a single row. This ensures the system correctly interprets and enforces your prerequisite requirements. To view existing prerequisite rules, navigate to the Manage Learning Prerequisite Rules report. You cannot delete existing prerequisite rules. Instead, you can deactivate a rule by editing to select the Inactive checkbox. This is why it is crucial to test and validate any prerequisite rules in a testing environment before implementing them in your production tenant. Similar to prerequisite rules, equivalency rules allow you to designate learning content as equivalent to one or more other courses, effectively satisfying the same learning requirement. This functionality is useful for managing high demand courses, minimizing repetitive content, and offering alternative learning opportunities to fulfill specific requirements. Let's return to our example, where Deborah needs to create some equivalency rules for digital and blended course content. She begins by navigating to the Create Learning Equivalency Rule task. From here, she can select the type of rule that best meets her needs for the sales onboarding initiative. First, Deborah wants to set up a one-way equivalency rule in the source field, she selects the Sales Protocol course, as it covers the same content as the Sales Knowledge course, but also includes an instructor-led component. In the target field, she selects the Sales Knowledge course. This indicates that learners who complete the Sales Protocol course will also receive an equivalent completion for the Sales Knowledge course. However, a sales knowledge completion will not fulfill the sales protocol completion requirements. Next, Deborah needs to create a two-way equivalency rule for the virtual and in-person versions of the sales protocol course. Since the content is identical, the two-way equivalency rule prevents learners from completing both versions of the course. From the Maintain Equivalency Rules report in the source field, she selects the Sales Protocol Virtual Course. Then, in the Target field, she selects the Sales Protocol In-Person Course. She selects the two-way checkbox and sets the effective from date. To help learners understand this rule, she selects 
the display equivalency records on learning history and the display equivalency options on course checkboxes. This ensures the learners understand that completing one version satisfies the requirement for both. Lastly, from the Create Learning Equivalency Rule Report, Deborah selects the Group Equivalency Rule option. This allows her to designate multiple courses as equivalent, enabling learners to simultaneously attain completions for each equivalent course. In the Content field, Deborah selects the Sales Knowledge courses in English, Spanish, and French. This group equivalency rule ensures learners don't unnecessarily complete the same content in different languages. Now that we've covered prerequisite and equivalency rules, Let's shift our focus to learning certification rules. The learning certification functionality empowers you to issue and renew learning certifications for learners based on their successful completion of relevant learning content. By setting up certification rules, you gain control over managing, monitoring, and tracking certification statuses across your organization. This encourages skill development and helps maintain compliance requirements boosting learner engagement, and contributing to a well-trained workforce. To ensure any new sales hires at Global Modern Services possesses the necessary knowledge and skills, Deborah establishes a learning certification for the Welcome to Sales program. To begin, she navigates to the Create Learning Certification task. From the certification field, Deborah selects the Create Certification option. In the Issuer field, she selects Workday and enters a unique certification name. She then selects OK to return to the Create Learning Certification Rule page. Deborah then completes the necessary fields, such as Learning Content and Effective From Date, and opts to display the certification on the content page and selects Submit. Now, when learners view the program details, they'll view the certification associated with completing the program. This provides clear visibility into the credentials they'll earn upon successful completion, further motivating them to complete the program. Lastly, you can add expiration rules to courses and programs. Expiration rules enable you to manage assignment and retraining requirements. It's generally best to create these rules only for required learning content or to fulfill specific requirements, such as compliance mandates or recertifications. This targeted approach ensures that your workforce stays current with essential knowledge and skills while maintaining unnecessary training overhead. You can establish three distinct types of expiration rules on a course page in Workday Learning. The most common are default expiration rules, which allow workers to retake learning content after a set period. You can set the default expiration based on a date, duration, or on a recurring frequency. When you establish a default rule by date or duration, the expiration depends on the learner's previous completion date. This is in contrast to the recurring frequency option, which streamlines and automates worker training needs by reassigning learning content on a schedule. You can establish the frequency by number of years or months to meet your requirements. Along with recurring frequency rules, Workday recommends establishing retrain windows to ensure learners complete required training within a specific training window, regardless of previous completion date. This content displays on the required for you slider until the learner consumes the content. Retrain windows allow you to apply this rule consistently across an organization, keeping all workers on the same completion schedule. Lastly, you can create advanced learning expiration rules that define default expiration rules for specific groups of workers. If a learner doesn't meet the advanced expiration rule conditions, then the default expiration rule applies. When setting up multiple advanced expiration rules, the system processes them in the order they display in the Advanced Learning Expiration Rules grid. It's recommended to prioritize specific rules first, followed by more general rules for optimal clarity and efficiency. To summarize, Workday Learning gives you the flexibility to establish default expiration rules 
alongside or in conjunction with advanced expiration rules and retrain windows. This allows you to tailor training to your organization's specific needs and learning objectives. In this session, we've learned the various learning rules you can apply to your learning content, including prerequisite, equivalency, learning certification, and expiration rules. Each rule offers unique capabilities to customize the way learners access and complete learning content, ensuring a tailored and effective learning experience. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday. Thank you.